Hi guys, welcome to the Telecom Terminologies video series, which is about terminologies used in the telecom industry. The aim of these videos is to help you become familiar with the most commonly used telecom terms so that you can talk about these terms when you encounter them in a business meeting or a job interview. So let's dive right in and today's topic is this one. OFDMA and SCFDMA are techniques used in mobile communications to connect a mobile phone to the mobile network. OFDMA stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access and SCFDMA stands for Single Carrier Frequency Division Multiple Access. The best way to visualize OFDMA and SCFDMA is to look at a simplified diagram of how a cell phone connects to the mobile network. The communication between a mobile network and a phone happens in two directions, uplink and downlink. Downlink is the communication sent from the network to the phone, and uplink is the communication sent from the phone to the network. In 4G LTE networks, the downlink communication uses OFDMA, and the uplink uses SCFDMA. In 5G networks, the downlink and uplink communication are both on OFDMA. The waveform used for OFDMA and SCFDMA is Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing or OFDM. OFDM is a multi-carrier transmission scheme in 4G LTE that splits the overall carrier bandwidth into smaller subcarriers of 15 kHz each. OFDM is robust and has the ability to exploit both time and frequency domains to make the most of the available bandwidth. Let's look at the diagram on the right. In OFDM, a frequency carrier is split into many smaller subcarriers. For example, a 20 MHz carrier, which is wideband, can be divided into smaller chunks of 15 kHz subcarriers, which are narrowband. These subcarriers are then grouped tightly and organized so that each subcarrier's highest point or peak overlaps only with the neighboring subcarrier's lowest point or zero. That way, there is no interference because subcarriers are independent of each other. The word orthogonal here means independent. This diagram on the screen provides a visual representation of the concept of subcarrier allocation used in OFDM. We have time and frequency domains in this diagram, and we only show 12 subcarriers for simplicity. Each user has a dedicated time slot and all the available subcarriers are assigned to them at different time intervals. In OFDM, the user allocation is only flexible in the time domain, but not in the frequency domain. All subcarriers are assigned to all users at dedicated time intervals, irrespective of how much bandwidth a user needs. What OFDMA then does is that it makes OFDM flexible also in the frequency domain to enable multiple access so that each user can get as much bandwidth as they need. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access, OFDMA, uses both time and frequency domains flexibly to allocate subcarriers and time slots more dynamically. As shown in the simplified diagram here, mobile phone users in LTE can be assigned a specific number of subcarriers for a particular time duration, depending on their data needs. For example, let's say two users are served by a radio unit of a 4G LTE base station. If one of these users is watching a YouTube video and the other is sending messages on WhatsApp, OFDMA can allocate more resources or subcarriers to the user watching the video because the video consumes more bandwidth. The duration of the time intervals or time slots can also be more or less depending on how long the user requires higher bandwidth. SCFDMA is used in 4G LTE networks for uplink communication so that the phone can send communication to the network. SCFDMA or Single Carrier Frequency Division Multiple Access is a special version of the OFDM based multiple access technique that employs a single carrier unlike OFDMA which uses multiple carriers. It is used in uplink because it is more power efficient than OFDMA, so it consumes less power and saves the battery life of your cell phone. 
SCFDMA has a lower peak to average power ratio, also known as PAPR, than OFDMA. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.